welcome back. Today I am filming a gift wrapping tutorial sort of kind of thing. A couple of weeks ago I was watching them on YouTube and they, they were okay. They just seemed a little weird. Like they kept taping the wrapping paper to the box and that's not really ideal because it all depends what you're wrapping to. So I thought I'd do, do a tutorial today. I really like Christmas so I have lots of Christmas wrapping paper to choose from because it's great. I also have some sticky labels here, some sticky tape, some scissors, funky sticky tape with like patterns on it. You can use that. I prefer the plain sticky tape. Lots of ribbons and twine in my box here. Even got lots of bows and things. Even a bow ball. You can use all kinds of things to decorate. It's fun. Today I am going to wrap a box and a piece of clothing. Oh, oh that's gone. I'll start with the box today. This is a gr gift for someone. Can't tell you what because they might watch this video. And I think I would choose ah, this spotty wrapping paper. Actually no, I don't like the spotty wrapping paper. We'll just go with this nice green one. Very nice. See? Got Merry Christmas and little reindeers and polar bears and pandas. Actually, I have most of these creatures on my kitchen table set up. Anywho, first you roll out your wrapping paper, put your present on it, and measure. That looks yay big and yay high. I'm going to use the sides to fold over, so I think that there should be big enough. Get your scissors. One strong enough to cut paper. And you just cut a line down, like so. Cut. Cut, 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 There we go. Move that to the side. And bring the present to you. I think this way. First you bring up one side. It's pro probably going to have extra wrapping paper. Can't always help that. That's okay. Actually, you can if you measure it properly. Stuff. You bring the two to the middle, like so. Actually, I want, I'm going to bring the wrapping paper this way a bit, because I want to put a decoration on top, so I don't want the seam to be on top. We'll put it down the side, like so, and then there's this seam up, like so, make sure they're mostly level, I don't always have level wrapping paper. This is the fun part, try and take your tape off. Yeah, tape dispenser that's meant to be laid down but isn't. You end up taping off, taking off more than you wanted and half sticking it to the table. Then sticking it to the paper, which I didn't do very successfully because there's a bit folded over. There we go. Now to the ends. There's several ways you can do it. You can pop them inside and fold it down like that. But I like to just bring the front, front bit down here like this then fold in one side it's not always the easiest wrapping presents but you know boxes are all easy boxes are easier than most ones bring this side like so crease it crease it along here when you get this side make sure he's a little triangle then you bring him in and he likes to crinkle up because that's always fun and there's always, sometimes there's going to be excess overhang. You can just fold him in like so. Then bring him up. Get your tape using your arm to hold him in place. And try not to take your finger in. Mm. Ah! I think you hate it when the tape folds over on your finger. It sticks to the table. Then tape him down like so. Excellent. It's not actually the best wrapping I've ever done, but not too bad. Then the other side. Bring the end in. Then bring the first side in. That doesn't want to come in. <laughs> then you get some more tape. And try not to stick your finger there. Oh, that was terrible. We'll just stick another piece of cardboard. 
And there's one not so perfectly wrapped box. Boxes are meant to be easier. Not always true. And the wrapping paper's upside down. Oh well. Okay, now there's several steps you can go from here. You can get some pretty twine, like so, and you can put that here and twist it down around the bottom, like bring the two and kind of twist them around each side and then bring them up the other sides and tie it off into a pretty bow, obviously with more. Or you can do that with ribbon, basically anything. I even thought of getting some of the little gel sticker letters from the previous week, from last week's DIY tutorial, Christmas decorations, and putting their name in it, or you can get little pictures. But I think today I'm just gonna go with a, hmm, what color? There's also the gift tag option, or you can stick a Christmas card on there with their name on. I might get some of this twine, but instead of doing it all around completely, just bring it underneath, bring it up, measure it out to about the same length, actually, give it a little bit more, about here, tie it into a knot, well, one cross, get the little bauble, thread him through, tie another little bit of a knot, so it doesn't go anywhere, so our little bubble doesn't go anywhere, and then make a bow, more or less, there we go, a bow, and then get one of our little sticky labels, write who it's to and who it's from, and then peel it off and stick it on the top, and there we have it, one square wrapped box, there we go. The next one is an item of clothing. Clothing's always hard to wrap. So I think, instead of trying to wrap it square, or whatever, you get the item of clothing, for instance, I have a dress here, and I am going to roll it. Roll, 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 like so, into a cylinder. And I'm gonna get some of my spotty wrapping paper that I previously judged. Get your spotty wrapping paper, roll it out, get your clothing item, and about the same width, so about here, ah, without unrolling it. Oh, it's soon it rolled up the same. And cut that across. Smooth and steady and gently, otherwise you get weird bumpy edges don't line up very well and you accidentally rip the paper. Then we get our piece of clothing, put it in the center and is that the center? It's about the center. Roll it up. I actually stole this idea from Kitty. And place them down. She also helped set up for this video. As you can see, there's four cats in the background that she situated up, so she was part of the video. Because she wanted to be here, but she couldn't. She was going to help, but oh well. Maybe another time. Just putting more tape along so the situation's better. Now, with these bits, I'm going to do a bit of a pom-pom. So you're going to get the ends where the clothing ends in the Scrunch them up and twist. And get some ribbon. We want ribbon? Yeah. We'll go with some green ribbon. Come on, green ribbon. You can do it. Oh, it's all tangled around my pole. There we go. Some green ribbon. Don't need that much. Just snip a bit off. Tie it around. Nice and tight. And a little bow. Like so. Okay, maybe not like that because that's not really a bow. And then with these little dangly bits, you can get your, get your scissors or a knife. Be very careful and use the sharp end and on the rough side, so the non sh off side of the ribbon, I don't really know how to pronounce it, explain it. You just get it to the bottom, get your knife on the other side of the 
object, be very careful, your finger not your knife, and run it up and curl it. The more times you do it, the curlier and tighter the ringlet gets and you can pull them out of it. And do the same on the other side. So twist. At this point, before you tie the bow, once you've just tied the knot, before you tie the bow, you can get one of your labels or another pom-pom and put it on to decorate our little pom-pom type present. I'm going to get one of these green ribbons, green bows, sorry, that match the green ribbon and peel off the backing and just stick him on there. And I think I might have another one of these sticky labels because they're great and I love them too. Pop him on there. And there we have it. Our pom-pom wrapped present. A pom-pom shaped wrapped present. <laughs> I hope you like this tutorial of me wrapping presents, although not very successfully today. And I'm very in the Christmas spirit today. I've got my Christmas jumper that says Christmas is for, my Christmas jumper, my Christmas t-shirt that says Christmas is for giving. So gimme, gimme, gimme. And my little Santa's on my bobbly head and in my lovely dancing pa panda. Ah! This panda is awesome. Watch him. He's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And till next time, have a wonderful week. Bye.